Hello again. So happy you could join me on this beautiful day. I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you're at. I'd like to start off by thanking all my viewers and subscribers and all the comments you made. I really do appreciate it and I try to get back with you as soon as I possibly can. Today I went to my uh, standard pre-stretch canvas, 16 by 20. What I did was I went to your local hardware hobby shop, picked up some spray paint, spray painted it, make sure you're in a well ventilated area and you have a mask on, waited for that to completely dry, then I went over it with a thin coat of liquid clear. That's going to help the oil blend right on the canvas. And any colors and all the information you'll need to paint along with me if that's what you choose to do will come across the screen right about here. Today I thought maybe I'd do more of a put more color and, and more clouds in, in the sky. Maybe make this a beach scene but get some green color like uh, something you'd see in the ocean. Who knows maybe some palm trees maybe some beach trees. I'm not really sure I'm just gonna paint along and see what we end up with. So that's where I'm at so far. So we can get started. I'm going to start out with some blue color in the sky. I'm going to use this fan brush right here. A little dab some liquid white. And I'll go into some blue. Make that a lighter blue. Load it right up. And with that darker behind there, it's kind of cool because you already got your sky in there. And you got the blues. blender brush. We'll blend that in. What I wanted to do is get more of the sky in there. Get more color in the sky. emotions. Or this paint thinner. Maybe we'll come in with some white. Just 
like that. Touch of orange, maybe. Straight through emotions. Get that misty. some of that orange color. Just like that. Wipe off that blender brush. circular motion.
back in some more liquid white. And make some clouds, some white clouds up here. brush same brush. We'll come in and we can put some seagulls in here. I, what I found out was this brush works really well because it's automatically curved like the wings of the seagull. So we can put one here. three of them going. Now we'll come back into some black, gray, maybe more towards the a lot of this just off of this little brush here. Let's come into some of that sky color here. We want to have a little bit of a distance there because it always has that dark blue
start that water line down. blender brush slightly soften that up
back in with some white. we start our waves.
the white caps. The illusion. The illusion of white caps. into some more of that orange in here. again. Clean out that brush. We've done the whole painting with this brush almost. I'm going to come into some more of that green. Filling this in where I think. Looks like the water's getting shallower anyways with that lighter blue there. Kind of like that. I think I'm going to make this right here the line for the water. Then we'll have another wave crashing in. It'll be a quieter be a quieter 
quieter. brighter. back on each side where it's coming straight in at you. some color down and through here. It could be the reflection. Like the water where it's wet. In between.
keep going back and forth into that. Pulling it down. some more white in there. Wipe that too much brush off. Pull it down. some more weight on that. Right along the edge. Where it gets foamy.
now. A bit of some white caps coming in. Sometimes you see that breaking right like that. A few as it goes back. on that same fan brush.
power. on there. I hope you enjoyed this one. This one's a little bit, a little bit simpler, but a little bit of a different look to it. Hope you enjoy it. I hope you're painting along with me. I hope to see you again. Bye.